hi all of the law students so something very important is in news right now while i prepared another video for you guys it suddenly struck me that i should talk to you guys about this fact as well so i got to know that a law student has been uh, charged for impersonation for cheating for carrying the garb that a public person can only carry and uh, the case was before the Allahabad High Court to stay the arrest of that law student. It really pained me to know that uh, he appeared before the court. It's, uh, uh, it's not funny in any way actually. What has happened is really bad, is really disturbing, may uh, turn into a really disturbing event for that law student as well. So what uh, would have happened is uh, even when I was interning a lot of my seniors requested me to appear before the court and told me that nothing would happen and so it's okay you can wear the band you can uh, even wear the gown and you can appear before the courts if you want e even before the high courts but I think uh, you should always refrain from this practice the reason because you never know the uh, approach the attitude of the bench that is before you the judge that is before you even if that's in the district courts or the magistrate that is before you uh, and uh, this all gets highlighted very easily these days. Imagine about a law student getting arrested just because he went before a judge and told him that uh, I am this or that advocate and I am here to get adjournment. In this case, I got to know that the student very nicely described that I am not that advocate but uh, I am an intern, I am interning under that person and I want to seek adjournment for the case. Uh, now this is fr from the information that I have got from the orders of the case so I don't think that it's uh, uh, it should be doubted in any manner so i must let you know what all sections he was charged with he was charged with section 419 section 420 and section 171 so both of the uh, sections that is 419 and 420 are for cheating cheating has been defined in section 415 ipc and if you particularly because you must be law students so you must be knowing what cheating is if you particularly go to the explanation that is given in section 415 you will get to know that if you are concealing certain facts uh, and you know that you're concealing Feeling such facts that also amounts to deception uh, uh, under the offense of cheating so that will also count as deception so impersonation means you you are not that person whom you are pretending to be you know that I'm not this person so if you go to the explanation it says you, uh, that if, if I go before the court or if I go before any uh, lending authority and I say that I am a very rich banker I need loan on this uh, of this amount and all of that I pretend to be that person I submit uh, forged documents as well then that will be a case of cheating now I will tell you another example which will be a case of cheating for example if I pledge on some goods uh, saying that I put certain uh, ornaments before the bank and I say that these are all gold and diamond ornaments and I want to pledge on it and I want to get some loan from you uh, please lend me some money or I, not to the bank I go to any lender any private lender or also uh, that time if I know that the ornaments that I have placed before the lender are uh, not of gold or diamond but these are actually plastic ornaments that have been coated with certain gold color or uh, diamond uh, jaise color se coat kar diya hai, then I will be charged for cheating that person okay because uh, I am actually I am with a dishonest or with a fraudulent intent. So what I am trying to convey that that kind of dishonest or fraudulent intent should be there. But wo sab kab samne aayega? Jab aapke pe charges frame hone honge ya fir jab trial ke time pe sab samne aayega. Charges frame hone ke time pe aapko pata hai ki kis tarah se procedure chalta hai. So, lekin usse pehle it is very very important it is extremely important for all the law students to understand that while uh, we all understand that you want to appear before the courts you want to learn if you are interning with somebody uh, somebody and you have that urge to go before the courts to represent somebody before the courts but please wait for a while sab nikal to jayega nahi you are eventually going to become advocates only do not take such risks with your career even uh, if uh, agar ye aapko utna zyada problematic na bhi rahe although bahut sare judges bahut cooperate karte hain wo generally adjournment adjournment pass overs aisi cheeze dene ke liye interns ko mana nahi karte agar wo request karte aur wo honestly batate hain that we are interning and our senior is stuck somewhere that is why i am before the court today but 
some people may not understand that and you do not want to get into such situations agar aapko ye fir jaisi situation tak nahi bhi leke jayega tab bhi agar ye aapki padhai mein thoda sa bhi khalal dalta hai ya life mein thoda sa bhi khalal dalta hai aapko ek puri fir se deal karna padta hai then why indulge into such acts so this uh, video was only <laughs> made to make you understand that uh, you must refrain from doing such things and now that i am here uh, i must tell you about another uh, good news that i have got for you people all those who are preparing for the judicial services not those who want to appear before the courts in their first second and third year of law but uh, for those who are preparing for judicial services and they want to give mock tests because i know a lot of judicial services exams are approaching bahut sare states ki vacancies khuli hui hain aap logo ko mock tests zarur dene honge aap mein se bahut sare log honge jo khud se prepare kar rahe honge to even i would advise ki aapko mock tests dene chahiye uh, olive board is a platform which approached me olive board uh, i will write it down for you Olive Board is such platform which is uh, new in the field of judicial services exams, and that is why they want to get familiar with what students want to get from them, uh, and that is why they are giving you free, free of cost mock tests to attempt as many as you want. and their mock tests are so detailed i have seen them all uh, they give you an analysis also in the end that way you will be able to better structure your preparation for the exam you will be able to know where you stand actually whether you need to uh, do something else whether you need to supplement your preparation and moreover if you go to their website they will also give you certain free videos also to see and you can watch those videos you can watch those lectures without any kind of fee I think it's very good for students who are preparing for the first time for the judicial services exams or for those who have already prepared uh, who are already preparing since a long time and they now want to uh, give certain tests they want to evaluate their performance so do go and check out olive boards courses i will give the link in the description box and yeah please wait do not appear before the courts until you become an advocate until you get your enrollment with your enrollment number मेरी आपसे बहुत ज़्यादा ये विनती है आई सीरियसली डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू सी एनी सच केस हैपनिंग विद एनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इन फ्यूचर